Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is your mini monthly financial situation reading, okay? This is going to be for September the 10th through the 10th of October 2020. Now, Leo, please remember, this is an intuitive reading, and always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with your money, okay? What's owed or due to you, your career, your business. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, you got the moon. All right. Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to know about their money? Okay. Divine Guidance. I'll read this in just a moment. Let me go ahead and get your cards shuffled and laid out and we will dive in. All right, Leo? All right, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Leo need to know about their money? Okay, for September the 10th through the 10th of October, 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Leo. All right. What does Leo need to know about their money? <laughs> okay, we are ready. All right, financial situation. We have the King of Wands. There you are. What you want is the Seven of Swords. What's benefiting your financial situation? Oh my goodness, Nine of Cups. <laughs> what you know is the Ace of Wands. Your new financial opportunity is the Two of Wands. Very nice. What you need to know about your financial situation, you have the Lovers. And then your outcome energy is Judgment. All right. Okay. Very positive, Leo. You know, you're you're getting you're stepping into your power here. You're beginning uh, something. You're beginning beginning a new cycle, a new season. Now, this could mean that you're you're getting a new career. Okay, that you could be starting your own business. You're definitely, you know, fulfilling. A vision, a wish, a dream, especially with the Nine of Cups coming up here in the position of what's benefiting your financial situation. So that's awesome. Now, let me fix my chair. Okay. <laughs> Let's start here. Okay. So we have the moon. All right. This is the energy of Pisces. You know, I feel like this is you knowing that you are being divinely guided. You guys pay attention to your dream signs, symbolism, and synchronicities as well. Okay? Uh, I feel like, you know, your guides and your angels are sending you messages. Okay? Um, I feel like it, you're getting ideas. You're getting visions of which direction you need to go in. Which opportunity you need to go after. It's that kind of energy because you have the seed right here, the Ace of Wands that has been planted, okay, in your mind. That vision, okay, came from your guides, came from your angels for you to act on. So definitely in tune with the divine right here, listening to your intuition. Now, I do feel like for some of you, things have been a little clouded. And what I mean by that is, you know, you... You've had to really trust in yourself as well as in the universe, okay? Because I feel like for some of you, this uncertainty, okay, that is surrounding uh, maybe a career opportunity. Maybe you guys have uh, been without a job for a while. Maybe you're in between jobs. 
Maybe you're thinking about starting a business. Whatever this may be, there, there has been a lot of uncertainty, but at the same time, you have trusted, and you will be rewarded for that. And I say this because you have divine guidance. The idea, the ideas you are receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers. There you go. So you're receiving the answers to your prayers. All right. Definitely, maybe through dreams, looking up symbolism, um, you know, talking to your angels in your dreams, and you know them telling you, giving you information about which move to make or what you need to do next and you are definitely listening and I'm, I'm telling you guys when you are listening and you trust okay you have that faith and that trust in spirit and your guides and your angels okay even when there's you know uncertainty okay but you still have that faith and that belief and that trust you will be rewarded and here it is all right, your financial situation is the king of wands. This is you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay? You know, whether you're male or female, this is such a powerful energy. You know, this king knows what he wants, and he's not going to get distracted. He's not going to let anything or anyone get in his way of what it is that he's going after. And this is your energy right here. You know what you want. Okay? Okay? You're very passionate about it. Some of you are definitely stepping into maybe a new role with the career you already have. Maybe moving up in leadership. Okay, management. I feel like people look up to you. You're highly respected. Okay. And this is also an entrepreneur energy. Some of you most definitely could be fixing to start your own business. Now, you have the Seven of Swords coming up here. This is what you want, okay? For some of you, you want a contract. For others of you, this is you diving deep, gaining a lot of knowledge from research that you're doing with what it is that you're going after here. You're making sure that you're not missing anything. You're making sure that you have all the knowledge and that you know exactly, you know, you know, I feel like this is you making sure that you have all your bases covered right here, Leo, where whatever you're jumping into right here with this new adventure, this new beginning with the career or business, you know the ins and outs, okay, and you're not missing nothing. And this is you understanding that knowledge is power, okay? Now you have the Nine of Cups coming up here, and this is in the position of what's benefiting your financial situation. All right, and this is powerful. You know, this is a dream, a wish fulfillment. This is, you know, an energy of, you know, emotional satisfaction. Your cup is runneth over times nine right here, Leo. I feel like not only are you you know, taking action on something that is going to be very successful. It's going to bring about stability and security. But you also love it, okay? You enjoy it. Now, we have the Ace of Wands. This is what you know, okay? A new adventure, a new beginning. As long as you nurture this seed right here, Okay, there is so much room for growth and expansion. Okay, whether this is you starting out the beginning of your business here, getting it up off the ground, you can take it all the way to the top. Or if this is you starting a new career, this is you climbing the ladder to success. Those of you that are already in a career, okay, this is you, you know, being able to move up higher management, leadership roles. Two of Wands, and I love this. This is your new financial opportunity. This is you stepping into your power right here, personal empowerment, okay? This is you knowing it doesn't matter which path you go down, which door you walk through, which career you choose, 
uh, which business idea you act on, you're going to rock it. You're going to own it, Leo. You're going to make it yours. Okay? Because you believe in yourself. And you know that you are being divinely guided. Now you have the lovers. The energy of Gemini. This is in the position of what you need to know about your financial situation. Well, I definitely see you making a huge decision right here. And it's for the betterment of your situation. For some of you, this is going to require you to move. Okay? For others of you, you could be traveling. And this could be you, you know, finally deciding, hey, I'm going to start my own business. Okay? Or I'm going to change careers. Whatever it is, it's big. But it's also for the betterment of your life, your family's life. Okay? Now you have judgment. All right, and this is your outcome energy. You know, you guys are definitely closing the door here, uh, ending a chapter in your book of life. This is a cycle, a season you've been in, okay? Maybe this is a job, career that you've had for, for a while, or m maybe even years, all right? And you're ready to end it because you're going after something new, something that you have passion for. You're making sure that you're looking at the, you know, the past and you are gaining all the knowledge that there is to be gained, okay, with the challenges and obstacles that you've been through. Because this is you knowing that knowledge is power. This is you knowing that as long as you take the time out to do a quick review, okay, and understand why things happened the way they did or what you could have done differently, this is going to help you in the future not repeat anything that you don't want to repeat. This is you having rite of passage and second chances right here. Such a powerful energy. All right. Leo, boy. <laughs> All right. I choose to focus on the positive aspects of my life and find opportunities for growth, even in difficult times. That's right. Thank you, Spirit. I am grateful that money allows me the freedom to be what I was born to be. I make every day count, and I live life with passion, power, and integrity. There are absolutely no limits to what I can achieve. That's right. Claim it, Leo. All right. All right, Leo. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. You guys, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.